What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Bundesliga career mode. This is episode number 70. We start today just off with a brief look at the golden boot race right now. Llewelling is one clear of Martial and five clear of teammate Robin Hack as we head into our first game of today's episode against Hoffenheim here. One of only two teams that have stopped us this season. In fact, Hoffenheim are the only team that have beaten us this season. So heading into the game on the back of our win over Union Berlin by three goals to nil. Obviously, right now, as we know, we've got, an, I think it's 16 or 18 point lead at the top of the table. Fact of the matter is, I know I bottled it back in season three. Touch wood, it's not going to happen this season. But heading into this game here, I've talked about it. I want the points record. If I'm going to set it, I need the same record in the second half of the season as I had in the first. That means 15 wins in 17, one draw, and I can only afford one more defeat this season. So Hoffenheim, the only team that have beaten us this season with Bielefeld, that came away on match day for, let's say I was looking for revenge, proved we were a much stronger outfit now, and 26 minutes after a red hot start, we had the opening goal. Jamie Llewellyn looking to extend his lead at the top of the golden boot race right now with another as he tries to get clear of Anthony Martial in second place. It's uh, it's not beyond the realms of possibility that Robin Hack could catch him. That's his 18th of the season now. But I really do feel as though in this team, I often talk about it. When I'm playing with like one striker up top, he not only normally leads the race for goals in my team, but also assists as well. He's just a go-to guy. And, you know, linking up play as well as scoring the goals himself, he, he seems to do it all in this team. But you know, I'd, I'd love to get Robin Hack second. If I can't get him close to Jamie Llewellyn in the race to the Golden Boot, I'd love to get Robin Hack second and uh, relegate Martial to third place, if you will. Before I think about that, I need to win this title, try and set the points record, and most importantly, close out this game against Hoffenheim. Come with a great chance for the visitors to get back on level terms. Zach Steffen made a couple of brilliant saves, though, as we were still leading by goal and 38 minutes in after a great save by Zach on the other end we come on the counter and Jamie says listen Robin you're only a few goals behind but you're going to stay that way yet yeah, Llewellyn wants that golden boot once again wants to win it back to back and he scored our first and second goals in this game as we had a two goal lead heading into the break so an 18 game winning run in all competitions I talked in the last episode how like right now I feel like I'm in the zone do you know what I mean in my gaming sessions in my recording sessions I feel like I'm in the zone I'm playing some really really good football Football. My defense has improved significantly. I'm knocking the ball around really nicely. I'm controlling games much better this season. Field. And what a ball this is by Marco Ludwig in the feet of Karim Adeyemi, who gets our third with 21 minutes to go. What a ball from Ludwig that was. As he gets the assist, Adeyemi gets the third, and we would win back-to-back 3-0 -back and extend our winning run in all competitions to 19 and avenge our demons after off and so far this season, the only team to beat us in all competitions, we get it right this time. You see the stats here again, dominated possession, dominated the game for the most part. I really do feel right now, and again, I, I never like to beat myself up too much, but I feel like I'm in the zone. I really do. This is my best winning run in FIFA 22, 19 games in all competitions, and I just wonder how much longer it can go on for. Anyway, heading to the second game of today's episode, AC Milan in the Champions League last 16. Right now, they are in third place in the Serie A, and I could not wait for this first leg here. Oh, wait, the San Now, they've got a really decent team. Mike is still there. Alex Centelles is now... Uh, starting left back as Theo Hernandez has moved on thank goodness because he's my favorite left back in this year's FIFA I absolutely love Hernandez uh, this year the defense is good. Fikayo Tomori is now 87 overall and still there. Uh, Ishmael Benneker, 84 overall. Of course, we sold and Draxler in the summer. Curtis Jones and James Madison, though, have both moved on. 86 and 84 rate, really, respectively, as two English players are now there. Fabio Vieira was signed in the January window. He's 85 overall. Rafael Liao now in his prime, 86 overall. 26-year-old left winger. He is superb in this game. He is such a great inside forward. And it's a decent team. It's, it's a five-star team it's a really solid AC Milan squad and whilst they have lost their two stars in Theo Hernandez and Sandro Tonali Frank Kessie has also gone as well they've lost quite a few players to be fair they've replaced them with some really good players too and Rafael Liao is still there he's so good on this game heading into the game I definitely felt we were favorites for this title as we topped the group 
This was our reward this season, facing a runner-up, but I didn't think it would be easy. Absolutely no way, but it's always fun when you face one of your former career mode sides. So heading into the game, 10 minutes in, as we know, away goals no longer count double in European ties. So I didn't feel like we need to score as many as usual in this tie, but... I didn't expect this. 11 minutes in, we fell behind. Unfamiliar territory. Haven't trailed many times this season, but here in the Italian capital, we did. Rafael Leal. What did I just say pre-game? He's such an amazing inside forward in this game, man. If you've not tried him out, please do so. He's rapid. He's got great agility, great balance, great dribbling, and a great end product as well. So much flair. And he gave Milan the early lead 11 minutes in. I was thinking, okay, all right, 19 game winning run, all competitions. It is in jeopardy here so i need a response and we got one right from kickoff what a signing this man has been this season club record signing number nine nikola vlasic signed as a playmaker has got i believe more goals than assists this season justifying that number nine jersey selection so we're back on level terms at the San Siro. and after that as well once rafael leal scored an early goal it was a real sort of like moment where the game could change depending on our response you know if we sat back a little bit and allow me to keep on coming they'd probably find a second goal instead i tried to flip it go on the offensive ourselves and right before the break we got ourselves our second to get the lead for the first time in the game schaefer down the right hand side rolls it across and jamie llewellyn star striker puts us in front for the first time in the game in milan and this was such an interesting game as well because there weren't actually that many chances in it 56 minutes in the code of Vlasic. look at the bag is braced tonight by mike there good stop by the french shot stopper as we're still up by a goal but it was one of those games where like there weren't too many chances, a couple of half-hearted ones, but for the most part, the quality of chances were really, really high. And in stoppage time, oh, goodness gracious me, only myself to blame. You know, I mentioned earlier how I've defended much better this season. Sometimes adrenaline does get the better of me. Stoppage time, Raphael Leal was running clear. I thought he was going to shoot, so with Amos Piper, I tried to dive in and block the shot, which I often do with a slide tackle. In the end, he dribbles towards the goal line and initiates contact. It's a definite penalty, there is no doubt about it. And you've heard me talk about AI on ultimate penalties every now and then. This is in the category. Ishmael Benneker with an absolutely inch perfect penalty. Yep, went the right way with Zach Steffen, which I very rarely do, but come on, mate. I could have two Zach Steffens in goal. I'm not saving that. In off the underside of the crossbar. Milan level it at a death from the spot. Only myself to blame. Dived in recklessly with Piper. I really thought Liao was going to pull the trigger from the near post because he scored the first goal that way. I thought about what happened in the first 10 minutes before, don't let it happen again. So I, I dived in with Amos. Just a really poor decision. I was, I was, I was in two minds. I was, I was running back with Piper, I was like, I can try and bait him to turn back and turn into me if I stand my ground. But if I do that, there's a chance he'll shoot near post and score like he did in the first half. Or I can dive in and try and block the shot. But of course, the risk is if he doesn't shoot and keeps on dribbling, it's a penalty. Unfortunately, it was the latter. So Liao wins the spot kick. Benica levels the game. And there it is. Our winning run is over. 19 games in all competitions. And it is ended at the San Siro. 2-2 two -two draw away in Milan. Really even gain that one as well. Stats slightly deceptive. Very balanced game in my opinion. Could have gone either way. He's heading back to the Shuka Arena. Whilst the post-match interview seems to suggest we've got the stronger chance of going through now. As we've won every single game this season at the Shuko. I've got to be honest. I think the tie is very much in the balance. I'd say we're slight favourites because of the fact we've won every single game this season at home. But... I certainly don't think it will be as routine as the media seem to suggest. Anyway, third and final game, returning back to matters in the Bulls. He was staying away from home, going to Mercedes-Benz Arena to take on Stuttgart here. Jamie Lewenning bags goal number 20 for this season. I showed you the golden boot race at the start of the episode. I, I need to get Lewenning back-to-back -back golden boots, man. I really, really do. He is so unbelievable. Scores our first goal, 20th in 23 games, and then 21 minutes in, we will double our lead. Robin Hack stepping in from the left. I don't think he's going to catch teammate Jamie Lewenning now, but rolls it across to Nikola Vlasic for his 10th in the Bundesliga this season. Great little run for Vlasic here in recent weeks as well as we go 2-0 up here on Stuttgart. 39 minutes in, though. This was really, really frustrating. Once again, it's what you'd call a 
Piper a mistake, but I'm the one to blame for it here. Stuttgart got back in the game in half deficit. Jao Pedro with a goal. Tried to pass out from the back and in the end pass it straight back to Stuttgart, who half deficit make it 2 1, but despite surrendering our two goal cushion, wasn't really in too much danger of throwing away the lead in this first half. We played some really good football as we've been doing so lately in our recent episodes. And 45 minutes in, we would restore the two goal lead. Lewenning and Marco Ludwig playing a 1 2. It's the lad at the academy going through 1 on 1. Smacks it in far corner with 3 1 up at the Mercedes Benz Arena. So, yeah, recently I've been playing some great football. We had that 19 game winning run. It is, of course, being ended now, but. I gotta be honest here, Stuttgart in this game did battle back and right after the Almart for the second time in the game reduced the deficit from two to one and it just made me think, you know, we talk about momentum in FIFA and how OP it is. When you're in an amazing winning run, like we saw very recently, it just seems like every single game you're going to go into and win reasonably comfortably. And that has been the case for the majority of our recent episodes. But when you do start to have a slip up here and there, suddenly the games get tougher. And I've been talking about how this title is going to be ours. It definitely feels that way after we hold on to a 3-2 win here away against Stuttgart. But two goals conceded to San Siro, two goals conceded here. Our defense has been a little bit shaky. This is a really balanced game. Could have gone either way way despite a dominant first half Stuttgart already turned it on in the second half but the points record certainly now in jeopardy no doubt about that second leg of the Champions League last 16 against Milan we don't hold a lead we're tied we've got a 20 point lead in the Bundesliga this title is going to be ours but the points record is going to be very hard to get now and I know for sure too momentum is definitely slowing down after a draw at the San Siro and a narrow escape at the Mercedes-Benz arena is this the time it happens every single season when we go into a bit of bad form. With that, we'll end today's episode of the Bundesliga Career Mode, guys. Big thank you for watching. Enjoy it if you haven't just like. Most of you all have a fantastic day. And I'll see you next episode of the Bundesliga Career Mode very soon.